Actually, should Proton even call it Iris? It looks so different. This is like Iris Cross. So they call it Iris Active. Right? Okay, I'm gonna go to the interior later. Uh, I need to drive it first. I'm late for a meeting! And go. That's the problem when we always change cars. I need my touch and go. Oh, Spartak, sorry. Luckily, I brought my car keys along. Good. It's a slot. Good. Wallet. Good. Everything. Okay, I have everything. Spells. Oh, okay. Ooh, the camera resolution is very high. drives so well and it's a lot more nippier. Hello Robbie! Yeah. Thank you! Yes! Thank you! Okay I really like the throttle mapping. They made it uh, unlike Japanese cars of 10 years ago where they are hyper sensitive, you know, and, and does that hum, hum thing, right? This one really does feel like, like it has a very well coupled transmission and engine that power just gets delivered to the wheels immediately once you put the foot down. Okay, that's a regular Iris in front of me, which is still a very good looking car, but it was more expensive than this one. It has way lesser equipment than this one. The build, the interior build quality is miles apart. Okay, they have improved so much in this car. Uh, I think, I think it, it matches the best from like like Koreans in fit and finish, right? This level of fit and finish is again. I'm not saying that it has a lot of luxurious material in the car, because this car is not a luxurious car. But oh my god, I'm amazed with the suspension just now. You know, the the way it goes over that that bump. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's very well finished, it's very solid, even though the materials are like hard plastic, you know, because of the price point of the car. But the fit and finish is really good, okay. The drive, of course. Okay. Can car makers tint their cars, even if it's a test car, can you tint it first? Because there is a, a load of a glass area in this car. Visibility is excellent. It's, uh, again, I have to say the Iris and the Persona platform, both of these platforms, right, when I sit in the car, 
I feel distinctly higher than other cars around me. That's a Honda City, Honda City, right? These cars are already higher than the regular sedans, right? The, the hip point, the sitting position. This is even higher. This is this is outright HRV ride height. This is HRV ride height. I, I can see the top of other people's roof when they are beside me, all right? So this is this gives a very good commanding position when you are driving this car. When you sit in this car, right, you have that sense of safety that you are taller than other cars around you. So that that that's a very reassuring feeling, and you get to see further as well. So, and uh, the view from the the side mirror that is mounted on the door with the A pillar, there is a little window here. So that, that gives really, really good visibility. Same as the Persona. And I have to say, man, the, the fit and finish after the, 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 joining, the joining of hands with, with, with GD, right? I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Right? And a little bit of a playful embroidery there on the door panels. Pretty awesome. The car is so loud. God, it's a nice, very nice V6 sound. What car would that be? Oh, that Mark X. Yep, that's a V6 sound. Almost like trumpet. Okay. Uh, the car is relatively quiet for its price point. Okay. Okay, there are certain elements of my car that is reflecting sunlight to <laughs> the reflector on top. Anyway, yes, the car drives really, really well. The steering is tight. Yes, the right height of the car also means that when you move the steering wheel, it has that reaction of a, of a crossover whereby you can feel the body roll, right? Cars that let you feel body roll are also cars that allow you to understand where the weight transfer ends and where your reliance on the traction of the tire begins and so you dare to throw this car into a corner more because there are more information coming from the car, right? Now I know my weight transfer has finished, I know I rely on the tires and then by listening to the tires, I know whether I'm pressing it too hard or not. So these are all good traits of a small, great handling small car. These are all good traits of it. Right. Very nice. And if you don't stress the CVT, I'm now travelling at about 110 km/h, right? If you don't stress the CVT, it's going about 2,500 RPM, which is considered reasonable. Of course, if you're talking more expensive cars, at those with like 8-speed ZF gearbox, 100 km/h, they may be at a RPM that is way lower. But those are, you know, cars that with the 8-speed ZF, you know, big 8-speed transmission. So the car drives comfortably, the seats are comfortable as well. Uh, not the largest seats, but I think the pressure points and all that are alright. I, of course, would prefer seats that are one size larger. But seats that are one size larger may not suit the, the, the target demographic of this car, which are, you know, youngsters or small ladies, petite ladies and all that. And I like all this trimming. Overall, it's damn nice to drive. Uh, with this kind of colour scheme, it's quirky. But of course, if I were to be demanding, of course I would hope that they change the rear glass profile of the Iris, which the Iris's rear storage has always been hampered by the profile of its hatch. If the hatch bulges out a bit instead of a straight cut, it will get a lot more storage room. But that's asking too much because that would in, 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 involve stamping and all that which is just ridiculous a ridiculous amount of investment for a facelift all right but overall what they have done on this car including the high proton thingy i don't know whether you can hear 
open driver side window. Close driver window. Hi Proton. Close driver window. Closing driver area. Yeah. Yeah. For them to pull this off in a car that wasn't designed from the ground up to have these type of system. Job well done. Alright. Alright, going up here. It's alright, that's my smart tag making noise. Overall, the whole interior is the same as the Personas and the two cars are priced very close to one another and, and I think this is just one of the bargains. It's, a, it's definitely a bargain. When I switch to Pro Mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that car. Yeah. Pro Mileage was the only one that gave me 5000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn less. up! So, I just, I just went and refilled V-Power Racing into this car as well. So the Persona that I drove the other day and the, this Iris Active, both I filled them up with V-Power Racing. <laughs> it says, I don't know, I, I see a lot of people saying that, hey, why waste petrol and all that. No, I'm not wasting petrol because V power race. Okay, if I'm pumping Ron 100, I will be wasting petrol because this car in no way needs Ron 100. And like I explained, Ron 95 or 97 or 98 or 99 or 100, they carry the same amount of energy. It's not that Ron 100 has more energy density in its fuel. No, V-Power Racing has a lot of expensive additives, alright, like costly, really good stuff that sometimes you buy off the shelf and when you refill your car, you pour it in to, that is good for your engine. Think of it as you wake up in the morning, your vitamin and your supplements, right? These are very costly and the V-Power Racing has a lot of supplements that are costly that are expensive okay so other fields if they want to add these things in they will be equally costly as well but a RON 100 field is just higher RON that's it there are no such expensive additives in there that V Power Racing uses that is good for your engine they are not there so technically speaking if I pump V Power Racing in this car I'm I'm doing it a favor which it even driving like this the car is using it even when I'm driving like that but if I were to pump RON 100, RON 120, RON 99 I'm just wasting it away because I'm not operating it at 11,000 rpm or this engine has the kind of compression ratio that needs a fuel that can tahan such high pressure right and when it comes to the question of cost, whether it's expensive or not, let me tell you this, whether a fuel is expensive or not is relative. Why? Let's say our border opens up and then you drive to Thailand, right? You go into Thailand, you go into Hat Yai, you know. A very low quality fuel in Thailand is 4 ringgit 40 cent, 4 ringgit 50 cents, 4 ringgit 60 cents per liter, 
right? And it's lower quality than our 95. But Thai people are paying that that money because that's just the way it is. They got used to it. So if one day in Malaysia our Ron 95 is four ringgit fifty cent or five ringgit per liter, we're gonna make noise and then we're just gonna use it like how it is, the same way we've done it, we've used it. So it's just the way it is. Oh, that's a beautiful V90. Is that a V90 or XC60? Anyway, sorry. Yeah. So. And I think this little car here, for me, made a little bit of sayang. It may be the last time where people come be power racing into this car. I wouldn't know. But people who join our weekend drives, they actually will go and pump up a tank of e-power racing, alright? Because they know uh, it cleans the engine, not just cleaning it. There are a lot of good stuffs in there and uh, healthy stuff for the engine. Let's put it that way, alright? So as for the car, if you let me choose between the MyV and this, I'll definitely get this because it's nicer to drive. The things that it gives me are things that are of use to me. Not, I mean, I know auto, automatic braking is wow, high tech, you know, and all that. Okay, that one is not bad if you have that, so it's not bad. But uh, but this one is now not expensive. It's faster than the MyV. It's heaps of fun to drive. And that's my neighbor in his yellow Aston Martin never could see who he is because his, his windows are so dark and um, yeah and this thing here just brings something that is from a much higher end market into this segment this demographic so very relaxing to drive very stylish car sitting position you know practical but it's not a big car it is in no way a big car and uh, it's basically a jacked up iris but it's a welcome addition of the iris of the range yeah and immediately just now when i got up that the, the lady who was driving a civic she was like hey this car is so cute you know somehow women just like cars that are you know a bit a bit of a rugged higher riding i think they did it right this round all right, cheers. Brothers on the rise now. Yelling celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. Love the boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. Yeah. And the critic, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is humongous. You were thinking that.